hiking. Um, Valerie, Little Miss Pris, Charlie Park Barbie. Um, yes, I got a side shave and my hair cut since I um, was diagnosed with breast cancer and I've got to undergo chemo. I thought I'd just get a cut now. Anyways, this message is for TT. Listen, TT. <laughs> um, I've been to jail probably six times. And uh, the first time, like you, uh, my jail, you know, experience was short. Scared me. Um, it sucked. But, you know, there was no danger, like you're saying, or anything like that. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you feel like right now your life's changed, you know, and everything's just going to be different. But no, boo, let me tell you. No, it's not the way it works. Um, sure, about, it took about a couple months, and um, I was right back in there. You know, hadn't really changed a lot. And since you're not owning up to your responsibility, regardless whether you say this dude cheated you or you're, he was a pedo, you didn't, he didn't deserve to be assaulted. It's against the law, and you freaking broke the rules. You broke the law. And, you know, you didn't black out because it was a calculated assault. Um... And, you know, you took it to trial, which is your right, but everybody saw, the judge saw, the courtroom saw, you hit some dude, whatever. So, your two days in jail wasn't shit. Um, like I said, I've done about six stints in jail. Um, I did 40 days. Man, and, and it's some rough shit when you're coming off Xanax fucking methadone, you know, um, Percocets, so, you know, that's a little bit different, um, but even that one didn't change me, um, it took me having to get, uh, almost a prison, get ready to go to prison, um, for selling dope and getting caught for me to change. So, I don't want to hear your crap and how you've changed your life. You haven't changed anything. You still don't own up to what you did. The only thing that you have changed, darling, is your weight. And that's great. I'm doing it too. I'm getting, you know, I got to. I got breast cancer, so I got to, got to get, get my body back in shape and vitamins, minerals, you know, all that good stuff for the health, but, you know, man, don't, don't play it off to all your people that you changed, you know, by one two-day jail stint, that is a freaking laugh, <laughs> it's a crock, and I know, because I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and if you can do 40 days in jail, you know, maybe it's a little bit different if you do 40 days in the county. But two days, nah. But anyways, you know, I would have just pled guilty and you would have been done by now. But since you never, ever, ever think you're wrong and you just think that you're God's gift, you know, that'll never change. You're a constant victim. And you'll always be this constant victim because you can't see what you're doing wrong. You can't see where you hurt people. You can't see where you lie. And you talk and you dox. That's why people... I'm right in there with Dorism. That's why people... You know, you said you changed and you went to God. That's when I started talking to you. Because I thought, well, that's great. You got saved. You know, she's, she will. And then you denounce that God is the lifestyle for you. 
So anyways, do 40 days, do 60 days in county, then come back and talk. Bye!